Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could wait here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on now. Honey, please. it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. 
Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wake, can I Don't help you with anything? Stupid pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, hey, Mr. Wake. You can hey, get there through the cell corridor. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye, 13 years after I'd gotten my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. 
Don't tell me I've been muted this whole time. Exit the sheriff station. Can I do that here? A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Ooh. Okay. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Okay. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No. Of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, shit. Take it easy. Oh, shit. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are Barry. You? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. <laughs> if you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake... My offer still stands. <laughs> Raymond. What you Get doing, me buddy? out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. Hey, buddy. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony looking at the Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week, and someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <laughs> yeah, wait here. Uh, Rusty. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? Poor dog. You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. 
I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, okay sure. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. Mm, registration. You gotta paper. talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing. It, ah, listen, here we go. You hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out. It's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. He talks too much. Here's the form, sir. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Okay. Lover's if you have Peak, huh? Finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, I see. Okay. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Do you hear that from people who end up spending yeah, yeah, okay. I'm just I'm not gonna listen to Barry's rant. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> that was dramatic. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Achoo! Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless what? you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. What is up this with his sneezing? So not worth a 15% commission. I... What could that mean? Head for Lover's Peak. Now we'll keep the lights on. Why not? Alright. Down this way and back into the dark we go. Okay. Okay. She she talks too much. Oh, manuscript. Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. Okay, fine, I'll walk. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Fair enough, I would be mad at Barry too. Oh, God. There's some aggressive crows, or ravens, whatever they are. Is there anything in here? Another manuscript? Oh, no. Revolver ammo, even better. Eh, I won't mess with that. Let's 
check down here. Got a playground with a single tiger swing that is swinging by itself. That's always a good sign. What was that? Yikes. I don't know what that was. Lover's Peak. Elderwood Nature Trail, Moonshine Cave. Ooh. really and why did I come in here There's some mean sounding crows center was heavy with an awful smell as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave rusty kept coughing blood my eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg the attack Ooh. had been vicious max whined in his cage rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror he gasped mr wake it happened just the way it was on that page oh oh not looking forward to that if it does happen Coming, I'm coming, Rusty. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez. I'm coming. I'm here. I'm back here. Oh. Mr. Wake. Oh hell! It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this could Damn. be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. The lights. I wouldn't think the lights would work. Especially with the power cable the only hanging way down. To make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Another manuscript. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted Raymond. to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Is that in here? Oh my god. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. No. Oh. oh my god. Rusty. Rusty. 
What is happening? Was covered with oily patches that look like liquid darkness. Oh god. Rusty? What? Okay, I... do I only have my revolver? Oh, crap. Crap, I'm out of ammo. Oh, there's some over here. Pick up. Ow, crap. Okay, okay, wow. Try that again. Oh, all the way back here. Rusty. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. I didn't notice this before. Okay, I think I know how to do this now. Properly, ouch! sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. No way. The Lord Ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty fishing. Rusty, no. It's only for me. For those visitors who purchase a park. License never. Two bears and wolves never approach any other. How do 
I jump? Or how do I dodge? I forgot. Forget how to dodge. Come on. Get more ammo while we can. There we go. Okay, that was a lot better. about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. <laughs> Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open them? the door for anyone. I mean it. Knock the whole tree down. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Dang. That's good. Do not feed wildlife. A hundred dollar penalty. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Moonshine Cave. Oh, jeez. I'm guessing I come in here later. I hope so. Or maybe we go this way and find out that the trail's blocked off and you have to go through Moonshine Cave to get there. That would make sense. Oh, God. That scared me. to check this real quick. Foot, um, jump. Okay, L1 is to dodge. 
There we go. Getting spooky. Oh, geez. Spooky. The Great Old One, felled by lightning in 1937. Damn. Oh, this is so creepy. The wind and the creepy noises. I need to get to the light. So I am out of ammo. Come on, oh god. <sighs> Ow. Fucking loser. Ah. Damn. All the way back here. I haven't gone up here, so I need to try see if I can get more ammo. Okay, good. There's oh yes, shotgun, please. I needed that. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Super. Let's go. Okay, I should save ammo for that.
Where's the other one? Oh, okay. Nice dodge. Nice. Okay. Okay. Right. Play station. 